In the early 20th century, a woman named Theda Barr rose to fame as one of Hollywood's first sex symbols. Born Theodosia Goodman in 1885, she transformed herself into a mysterious and exotic figure, captivating audiences with her intense on-screen presence. Theda Barr's breakout role came in 1915 with the film The Fool There Was, in which she played a predatory vampire who destroys the lives of men who fall under her spell. The film was a massive success, and Theda Barr became an overnight sensation. Over the next few years, Theda Barr appeared in dozens of films, often playing similar seductive and dangerous characters. She became known for her striking looks, with her dark hair, heavy eyeliner, and exotic costumes. Despite her success, however, Theda Barra's career was relatively short-lived. By the 1920s, public tastes had shifted, and she struggled to find roles in the new era of talkies. Despite her brief time in the spotlight, Theda Barra left an indelible mark on Hollywood. She paved the way for future actresses to explore more complex and nuanced roles, and her influence can still be seen in modern films and television shows. Her legacy as a trailblazer in the world of cinema remains an important part of Hollywood's history. Theda Barra was a silent film actress, known for her role in the 1917 film Cleopatra. You might have a favorite movie or memory associated with this classic star, or perhaps you've heard stories about her from older relatives or friends. We'd love to hear your stories and memories about the Theda Barra in the comments below. What makes this actress stand out to you? Was it her unique style or the way she brought characters to life on screen? As you watch this video, you'll learn about some surprising and intriguing facts about the Day Ibarra. From her early life to her groundbreaking career, there's much to discover about this iconic actress. So, whether you're a longtime fan of Day Ibarra or just discovering her for the first time, we hope you'll enjoy learning more about this fascinating figure in film history. And don't forget to share your own memories and stories about Theda Barra in the comments below. Theda Barra, an actress who became synonymous with the silent film era, had a unique upbringing that played a significant role in her career. Born in 1885 to a Polish Jewish father and a French Swiss mother, Barra was exposed to diverse cultures from an early age. This multicultural background influenced her ability to take on a wide range of roles and accents in her films. Growing up in Cincinnati, Ohio, Barra developed an interest in the arts, particularly theater. She was inspired by the works of famous playwrights and actors of the time. After attending the University of Cincinnati, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. In the bustling city, Barra found herself surrounded by like-minded individuals who shared her passion for the arts. She became involved in various theatrical productions and was soon discovered by filmmakers. In 1914, she made her film debut in A Fool, there was, which catapulted her to stardom and solidified her status as a silent film icon. Barra's path was influenced by several key mentors, including director Frank Powell, who saw her potential and cast her in her first film. Additionally, her experience working with renowned theater companies and actors helped shape her skills and deepen her understanding of the craft. This classic actress's ability to captivate audiences with her expressive eyes and dramatic performances can be traced back to her early exposure to the arts and the guidance she received from her mentors. Vara's influences and upbringing played a crucial role in her success, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Her legacy continues to resonate with film enthusiasts and aspiring actors alike. Picture this, a young actress eager to make her mark embarks on a journey that would change the course of film history forever. Theda Barra, an actress who made her mark in the early 20th century, had a significant influence on the film industry. She began her career in 1914 and quickly became a major star, known for her exotic beauty and intense acting style. In her time, the actress was a symbol of the vamp, a seductive and dangerous woman who used her charms to manipulate men. This character type was a departure from the sweet and innocent leading ladies who had come before, and it helped to usher in a new era of filmmaking. Theda Barra's films were known for their high production values and elaborate sets. She often played roles that required her to speak in foreign accents and to portray complex emotions. This was a departure from the simple and straightforward acting style that was common at the time, and it helped to elevate the art form of film. The actress's influence extended beyond her own films. She was a fashion icon known for her daring and exotic style. She also paved the way for future actresses who wanted to play more complex and interesting roles. Despite the fact that the actress's career was relatively short, 
Her impact on the film industry was significant and enduring. She remains a classic example of the early days of Hollywood and a reminder of the power of film to captivate and inspire audiences. Ever since Theta Barra was a young girl, she was drawn to the arts. She would often put on performances for her family and friends, captivating them with her dramatic flair. Her passion for acting only grew stronger as she got older. In her late teens, Data began performing in local theater productions. It was during this time that she had a pivotal experience that solidified her desire to pursue a career in acting. She landed the lead role in a production of Cleopatra, and her performance was met with critical acclaim. The experience of bringing such a powerful and iconic character to life on stage was exhilarating for the Data, and she knew then that she wanted to spend the rest of her life acting. Data's talent and dedication to her craft soon caught the attention of film producers, and she was offered a contract with Fox Studios. She quickly became one of the most popular and highest paid actresses of the silent film era, known for her intense and seductive performances. Despite the many challenges she faced as a woman in the male-dominated film industry, Data never wavered in her passion for acting. She continued to push boundaries and take on challenging roles, cementing her place as a true pioneer in the world of film. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. The actress known as Data Bara, who became famous for her exotic screen persona as the ultimate vamp, was actually born in Ohio. Those who knew her well described her as a quiet and reserved individual, more likely to be found in a bookstore than a Hollywood nightclub. In the early 1920s, she married director Charles Brabin, a union that lasted until her death despite allegations of infidelity on Brabin's part. One of Barra's films, Kathleen Mavernine, faced significant backlash from Irish Hibernian societies due to the fact that an actress of Jewish extraction was playing an Irish heroine. In protest, they sent their members to stone the theaters exhibiting it and to set off stink bombs within them. Upon her passing, Barra was interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California under the name Data Barra Brabant. Her legacy as a groundbreaking actress continues to be celebrated and remembered in the world of classic film. Born Theodosia Goodman in 1885, Data Barra struggled financially during her early years. Raised in Cincinnati, she came from a humble background, working odd jobs before finding success in acting. Despite facing initial skepticism from the industry due to her lack of experience and connections, this ambitious actress remained undeterred. She adopted the stage name Theta Barra and moved to New York City to pursue her dreams. However, even after landing small roles, she continued to face financial hardships. Determined to succeed, she took on extra work outside of acting, such as modeling and writing scripts, which eventually led to her big break in the 1914 silent film A Fool There Was. Her captivating performance catapulted her to stardom, silencing earlier critics who had doubted her potential. This classic tale demonstrates how perseverance and resourcefulness can help one triumph over adversity and find success against all odds. Additionally, almost all of her 40 films have been lost. Only six films remain, along with a few fragments, making her work among the most lost in Hollywood despite having a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She attended the University of Cincinnati and graduated from there. In 1930, she lived at 632 North Alpine Drive in Beverly Hills, California. This indicates a time of significant change and development in her career and personal life. Data Barra's career as an actress took a turn with her role in the 1915 film A Fool There Was. The movie propelled her to stardom and established her as the first film vamp or villainess. Based on a play of the same name, the film's tagline, Kiss Me, My Fool, became famous and is still associated with Barra today. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by Barra's portrayal of the manipulative and seductive character. The film's success led to Barra being typecast as a vamp, but she embraced the role and became one of the most popular actresses of the silent film era. Barra's impact on the film industry was significant. She challenged traditional gender roles and expectations, and her on-screen persona was a departure from the sweet and innocent heroines that dominated early cinema. Her performances were often characterized by their intensity and passion, and she was known for her ability to convey complex emotions with just a look. Peers and collaborators also recognized Barra's talent. Director Frank Powell, who worked with Barra on A Fool There Was, said of the actress, she has a wonderful understanding of the art of the screen and a marvelous sense of dramatic values. Despite her success, Barra's career was relatively short-lived. She retired from acting in the late 1920s, 
but her impact on the film industry and popular culture continues to be felt to this day. Her groundbreaking performances and iconic status as the original film vamp have cemented her place in cinema history. The actress Theta Barra, known for her work in silent films, had to overcome a visual impairment to excel in her career. Barra was nearsighted, which required her to memorize the position of furniture and props on set. She would then meticulously rehearse around them before filming began. After graduating from Walnut Hills High School in 1903, Barra's career took off when studios promoted her with a massive campaign. They claimed she was Egyptian-born, the daughter of a French actress, and an Italian sculptor. The studios also said she had spent her early years in the Sahara Desert and moved to France to become a stage actress. However, Barra had never visited Egypt or France. The studios called her the Serpent of the Nile and encouraged her to discuss mysticism and the occult in interviews. Barra played along, fueling the mystique surrounding her persona. Despite the inaccuracies in her promoted background, Barra's fans were captivated by her on-screen presence and intrigued by the mysterious aura surrounding her. Theta Barra, a silent film actress, was known for her unique and captivating style. She often played mysterious and exotic characters, which was a departure from the typical roles offered to women at the time. Barra's approach to her work was heavily influenced by her personal experiences and worldview. She was drawn to characters that were complex and multifaceted, often drawing on her own emotions and experiences to bring them to life. One of the things that made Barra's style so unique was her use of expressive body language and facial expressions. In the days before sound and film, actors had to rely on these techniques to convey emotion and tell a story. Barra was a master of this, using every part of her body to create a vivid and engaging on-screen presence. Despite the fact that Barra's film career was relatively short-lived, her impact on the world of cinema was significant. She was one of the first true movie stars, and her mysterious and exotic image helped to define the concept of the vamp in early Hollywood. Vara's legacy can still be seen in modern film and television, where complex and multifaceted female characters continue to be popular and in demand. Vara's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work off-screen. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and was known for her independent and fiery spirit. Vara was not afraid to speak her mind and was often outspoken about the issues that mattered to her. In conclusion, Theta Barra was a truly unique and captivating actress whose style and approach to her work continue to resonate with audiences today. Her personal experiences and worldview were reflected in both her on-screen and off-screen personas, making her a true trailblazer in the world of early Hollywood. Reportedly, renowned author Neil Gaiman found inspiration in the Theta Barra for his comic book character Death in the Sandman series. Despite being known for her vamp roles, the actress attempted to break free from typecasting by playing a Mary Pickford-style character in Kathleen Mavernine. However, the film failed to impress audiences, leading both Barra and Fox Studios to part ways amicably later that same year. Following her departure from Fox, Barra featured in just two more films, The Unchastened Woman and the comedic short Madame Mystery, before retiring from acting altogether. During her prime, she resided in a Grand Tudor-style house located at 609 West Adams Boulevard in downtown LA, which she later sold to Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle and Minta Durfee in 1918. Subsequently, it became home to several notable filmmaking couples, including Raoul Walsh and Miriam Cooper and Joseph M. Schenck and Norma Talmay. Theta Barra, a silent film actress, made a significant impact on the movie industry during her career. She became known as the first vamp or vampire vixen, popularizing a new type of female character who used her sexuality to manipulate men. This role defied traditional norms and set the stage for future strong female leads. In her film A Fool There Was, released in 1915, Vara's character famously declares, Kiss me, my fool. This line and her overall performance solidified her status as the ultimate temptress. Vara's on-screen persona influenced fashion trends, with women adopting her signature dark eyes and lips, earning her the title of the siren of the screen. Vara's impact extended beyond her films. According to film historian Kevin Brownlow, she was the first sex symbol, the first a girl, the first to be recognized as a star. Her allure and mystique were carefully crafted by the studio, with rumors circulating about her exotic background and scandalous personal life. This created an aura of mystery around the actress, further fueling her popularity. Despite her success, Barra's career was relatively short-lived. 
She made her final film in 1926 and retired from acting. However, her influence on the industry remained, paving the way for future actresses to explore more complex and provocative roles. In an interview, modern actress Eva Green, known for her own vampish roles, cited Barra as an inspiration she was a true pioneer, pushing boundaries and challenging societal norms. Today, Data Barra's legacy lives on, not only in the film industry but also in popular culture. Her groundbreaking portrayal of the vamp continues to inspire and intrigue, leaving a lasting impact on storytelling and the representation of female characters. Theta Baraway, located in Fort Lee, New Jersey, pays tribute to the actress who faced challenges due to her on-screen persona. During her film career, people often mistook actors' roles for their true identities, leading to misperceptions about the actress. Consequently, she experienced public ostracism, including instances where she was denied restaurant services and medical assistance for her husband. After her passing, Veda Barra received recognition with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 637 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, on February 8, 1960, many years later. These acknowledgments highlight the lasting impact of her work, despite the difficulties she encountered during her lifetime. Veda Barra, a silent film actress known for her exotic and mysterious persona, had a life that extended beyond the silver screen. In her personal time, she had a deep interest in the arts, particularly literature and poetry. This love for storytelling often found its way into her work, as she chose roles that allowed her to explore complex characters and narratives. Vara was also a passionate advocate for animal rights. She used her platform to raise awareness about the humane treatment of animals, and often worked with animal welfare organizations. In fact, she was known to have a soft spot for stray cats and dogs and would frequently take in animals in need of a home. In addition to her artistic and philanthropic pursuits, Vara was a private individual who valued her time spent with family and close friends. She was known to be a generous and kind person, always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Despite her success in the film industry, Vara remained humble and grounded. She never forgot her roots and often spoke about the importance of hard work and perseverance. Her personal values of kindness, compassion, and a strong work ethic were evident in both her professional and personal life. Vara's philanthropic efforts extended beyond animal welfare. She was also involved in various charitable organizations and often donated her time and resources to help those in need. Her generosity and commitment to giving back to the community were an integral part of her personal values. In summary, Theta Barra was not only a talented actress, but also a compassionate and generous individual. Her love for the arts, passion for animal rights, and commitment to giving back to the community were all important aspects of her life outside of the film industry. Transitioning from her intriguing stage name origins, the actress, Theta Barra, faced a shift in her career when she married director Charles Brabin in 1921. Despite expressing interest in a potential return to the screen, her husband believed it unsuitable for her to continue acting. Subsequently, she led a life of luxury as a hostess in Hollywood and New York. In a 1936 Lux Radio Theater broadcast, she hinted at a comeback to films, actively seeking the right script. Theta Barra, one of the earliest silent movie stars, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for her exotic looks and intense acting style, she became a symbol of female power and sexuality during a time when women were often portrayed as weak and submissive. Despite facing many challenges throughout her career, including gender discrimination and typecasting, she managed to pave the way for future generations of actresses. Her films, though dated by today's standards, continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Her iconic status has been cemented in cinema history, earning her a place among the greats like Charlie Chaplin and Mary Pickford. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, the actress would likely offer some valuable advice firstly, never let anyone define you but yourself. In an era where stereotypes ran rampant, Theta refused to be boxed into a particular role and constantly pushed boundaries. Secondly, always stay true to your art. Even amidst fame and fortune, the actress remained dedicated to her craft, consistently delivering powerful performances that resonated deeply with viewers. Finally, embrace change and evolution. Just as Data adapted to the changing landscape of early Hollywood, so too must modern actors adapt to new technologies, platforms, and audience expectations. By staying grounded in these principles, aspiring professionals can honor Data Bar's legacy while making their own unique contributions to the world of entertainment. 
After her acting career ended, Data Vara hoped to create a film about her life with a neighborhood child she had taken under her wing. Unfortunately, her health declined, and she passed away before the project could come to fruition. Vara's mother, Pauline de Capet, was Jewish and hailed from Switzerland. She outlived her daughter by two years. The actress also had an older sister named Lori Vara, who worked as an actress and writer. Despite Vara's on-screen persona as a seductive vamp, she was known to be a kind and generous person off-screen. Her fans adored her, and she remained a popular figure in Hollywood long after her retirement. Although Vara's career was cut short, her impact on the film industry was significant. She paved the way for future actresses to explore more complex and nuanced roles, and her films continue to be celebrated as classics of the silent era. Vara's legacy lives on through her films and the memories of those who knew her. Her story serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the enduring appeal of classic cinema. Despite the many challenges she faced throughout her life, Vara remained a true icon of the silver screen. Born Theodosia Goodman in 1885, Data Barra transformed herself into one of the silent film era's most famous fans. Her innovative portrayals of strong-willed, seductive women captivated audiences worldwide, breaking traditional norms and setting new standards for acting. In her groundbreaking role in A Fool, there was, she left an indelible mark on cinema history, forever associating herself with the mysterious and alluring character she brought to life. Throughout her career, Theta Barra embraced challenges and consistently pushed boundaries. She starred in various films that explored complex themes, further solidifying her status as a trailblazer. Despite facing adversity due to societal expectations and prejudices against actresses during that time, she remained steadfast in pursuing her dreams, demonstrating the power of resilience and determination. Her influence transcended generations and resonates even today. Many modern stars have cited Data Barra as a source of inspiration, proving that her legacy continues to inspire and intrigue those who step into the enchanting world of storytelling through motion pictures. This iconic actress serves as a testament to the timeless appeal of compelling narratives and unforgettable performances. Indeed, creativity and perseverance can lead to remarkable achievements, just like they did for the Data Barra. As we reflect upon her extraordinary journey, let us remember that our passions and dedication hold immense potential, waiting to be unlocked and shared with others. For it is often these unique contributions that etch our stories into the annals of history, leaving lasting impressions on future generations. Theta Barra, a prominent figure in the silent film era, was honored with a commemorative postage stamp in 1994, among other stars of the silent screen. Designed by Al Hirschfeld, the stamp series included Rudolph Valentino, Clara Bow, Lon Chaney, John Gilbert, Zay Zupitz, Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton, and the Keystone Cops. Unfortunately, many of Barra's films were destroyed in a fire at Fox Studios in 1937. It wasn't until the 1940s that she discovered her personal archive of nitrate film had disintegrated, leaving only memories of her once vibrant career. At the time of her death, Barra left an estate of 400,000, distributing sums to her husband, her brother's widow, the Motion Picture Relief Fund, children's hospitals, and the bulk of her estate to her sister Lori. This actress's films, though largely lost to time, remain a testament to her impact on early Hollywood. In an effort to promote her film Cleopatra in 1917, the actress claimed to share the same astrological sign as the historical figure. However, this statement was inaccurate, as Cleopatra was a Capricorn, while the actress was a Leo. Unfortunately, only a few brief moments of this classic film remain, with the last known viewing taking place in 1934 by Cecil B. DeMille for his own remake. The actress's meteoric rise to fame at 20th Century Fox led to a significant change for her entire family. They decided to adopt the surname Bara, which was originally the actress's middle name, in order to capitalize on her success. This decision highlights the profound impact that the actress had on her family and the film industry as a whole. The actress's career was marked by her enigmatic persona and striking on-screen presence. Despite the limited surviving footage of her most famous role, her legacy continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers to this day. The actress Theta Barra, known for her intense and mysterious on-screen persona, experienced a tragic loss in her personal life. In 1921, her husband, Charles Braben, director of The Unchastened Woman and a Slave of Fashion, was at the helm of a film production when a devastating accident occurred. A stage structure collapsed, killing several people, including Braben's close friend and associate, actor Charles Richmond. 
This shocking event left a dark cloud over the couple's lives, revealing the stark contrast between the glamour of Hollywood and the harsh realities of the world beyond the silver screen. Theta Vara, forever associated with the exotic and the enigmatic, faced a heart-wrenching tragedy that few knew about, offering a glimpse into the human side of this classic Hollywood star. As we delve into the life and career of Theta Vara, one can't help but marvel at her groundbreaking contributions to early Hollywood. Debuting in 1914, this actress quickly became known for her intense, enigmatic roles that left audiences enthralled. Her most iconic role as Cleopatra in 1917 remains a captivating piece of cinema history even today. With striking makeup and costumes that broke boundaries, she created a lasting impact on how female leads were portrayed on screen. Despite facing criticism during her time, it's clear now that she was ahead of her era. Off-screen, she was equally fascinating, often surrounded by mystery and intrigued due to her exotic image and private personal life. Yet, despite these veils of secrecy, her talent and influence remain undeniable. Now, dear viewer, we turn to you. What do you think about that Abara's work? How has her legacy influenced modern cinema? Share your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed diving into this classic starlet story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting journeys through entertainment